This video is recorded to help my students to understand how to use if, else if, else structure and how to use switch uh, statement to solve some uh, choice problem. The problem we want to solve is this. Print out the course letter grade based on user's input of course score. So if the input score is 90 to 100, then print out A. If input score is 80 to 89, print out B. Uh, 70 to 79, print out C, uh, 60 to 69, print out D, from 0 to 59, print out U. Any other score, like uh, greater than 100 or less than 0, shall view as an invalid score. So your problem should handle this. So let's see. You can always handle the special case first, right? If the user score is not in the range, then you will print out an error message and exit the program. So. Uh, for for example, we can do this way. We first declare variable. Uh, so your variable like a integer score, right? Then you will get input. If input is out of range, then print out the error message and exit. So. For example, I can do this way. Uh, if you want to get a user input, you should give a hint first. For example, you say this, see out into a score in integer. So you will tell it's from zero to 100. Okay. Then you will see the score. Now, you will check a special case. Uh, check if the score is out of range, right? Just continue here. So if score is greater than 100 or score is less than 0, then you print out the error message. You will say, for example, you say, see out. The score is out of range exit program so uh, in chapter 3 we will learn how to use loop to repeat ask a user to re-enter the score you can validate the input if input is not valid you will ask a user to re-enter until the score is valid so then you will say exit 1 which means you exit program with error okay now, if you don't exit, that means the score is valid. Then we begin uh, based on the input score to print out the uh, corresponding grade. So, if you don't exit, which means score is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 100. So you can say if score is greater than or equal to 90, which means the score is between 90 and 100 inclusive. Right, because score cannot be greater than 100. So based on that, score is between 90 and 100 inclusive. Then you will print out, we just make it simple, A. Okay. Else, if score is greater than or equal to 80, now print out B. Pay attention, when you reach else, if, this part, which means the first condition score greater than or equal to 90 is not correct, which means the score is less than 90. Now, plus the condition score is greater than 80, so this else if means the score is between 80 and 89 inclusive. Then you print out B. So else if score is greater than or equal to 70, then you will print out C. And else if score is greater than or equal to 60, then you will print out D. Else you will print out U. That means student failed. Now, pay attention, this else, which means all the previous conditions are not true. 
So the score is not greater than 90, is not greater than 80, is not greater than 70, is not greater than equal to 60. So it has to be less than or uh, less than or equal to 59. But since you already guarantee your score is not less than zero, that means greater than or equal to zero. So in this case, it's between zero and 59 inclusive. Okay, this is one way to do this. Let us uh, test the program. So you uh, run the program. Then you will say enter a score. Suppose if I enter 101, then this says uh, the score is out of range and exit the program. Now, in order to hold the black window, you will put a system pause here. If you use microcomputer, you don't need this. But this is if you use virtual uh, studio, then you need to put a system pause, which means I hold the black window to see the result. So again, if I enter negative four, then say the score is out of range, exit the program. Now ask you press any key to continue. Okay. Of course, if you want that the output is less, you put a slash n here, so the output will be better. Try again. So suppose I input 102, then say score is out of range, exit the program. Press any key to continue. Now let us test. Uh, others case let me grab this scene so for example if i put a 78 c press any key to continue now you see the output is still a lot good right so one thing you can do is <clears throat> you can add a slash n at each of those right after you print out the score you want to go to the new line so you add a slash n so when after you finish your program always run uh, several times to test all the cases. Uh, for example, for this program, you should test. You should input a score like a greater than 90, input a score between 80 and 89, input another score between 70 and 79, input another score between 60 and 69, and input a score is less than uh, 60. Also, input a score is over 100, input a score is less than zero so you basically you test all the cases see how is the output is if the program run correctly if you see the output is not nice you will modify the, your program to get a better output okay this is one way to do it another way if we can use a switch so we command this out then use a switch statement if you use a switch statement there is a problem you have 100 case actual 101 case from 0 to 100 so all you cannot say you make all those cases uh case 0 case 1 case 2 then it's too hard to write so one way to do this you try to reduce the number of cases so i will not switch score i actually switch score divided by 10. now if you are 89 89 divided by 10 is 8.9, but in C++, uh, integer divided by integer, you only have integer value. So 89 divided by 10 will give you 8. So 8, when you say 8, you know it's B. Any number 80 to 89 divided by 10 is always get 8. So now 8 is B, right? So in this case, we know I will switch. Switch, score, divided by 10. Now, how many cases I have? Case 10, if your score is 100. Case 9, if your, if your score is 90 to 99, then you will print out A. Then you break. Then you will have case 8. Then you will print out B. Then you will break. Then case 7, you will print out C. Then you will break. Uh, then case 6, you will print out D. Then you will break it. Then default, alright, you will print out U. Then break. I forgot to see my column. Break. 
Okay, so then the switch. Okay, so now let's test the program again. If I say score is 78, it will say C. Okay, if you have any questions, please give me an email.